Hey, how's it going? I hope your learning journey is going well. I want to share with you five things that I've picked up from learning web development for almost four years now. Well, I've been messing around with WordPress for the past six years, but I didn't take it seriously until about four years ago. And I'm convinced that the best way to go about learning it is to take a project-based approach. It keeps it more interesting, especially if you're making a website for a friend to help them out, or maybe a charity in your community. There's more riding on it, and you tend to retain the information better than if you're just learning for the sake of learning it. So what you do is decide on a project, preferably something that involves a passion of yours, something that you're genuinely interested in. I don't know, it could be a dating website. Maybe you love coffee. You make a dating website for other people who love coffee. I say dating website because it's gonna involve a database. It's gonna involve data capture. People have to put in the name and details. So there's a lot involved in there you're going to come up against roadblocks, something that you don't know how to solve. You might not even know what you actually need in order to solve it. You might not know which function you need, which um, plugin you need. And then you go upon the journey of hitting the forums and asking for help. And that's how you become actually a good Googler. And that's part of being a developer is knowing how to use Google to your advantage, how to uh, present a question on a forum in a way that's gonna get more responses and more feedback. And so that's the great thing about it is hitting these roadblocks, solving it for yourself and the confidence that you gain from that and then you just take on the next roadblock and you debugging uh, the app and it you get I found I get a lot more out of it than just randomly learning stuff for the sake of learning it I don't retain it as well a lot of the times the second tip is if you can it can be difficult but try and find an instructor when you're looking at video tutorials and platforms try and find an instructor that you resonate with someone who you can imagine hanging out with and chilling out and if you're not resonating with the instructor i don't know it could be their voice how they explain things the cadence rhythm in their voice i find some instructors are a little bit forced a little bit too polished and at times the youtube videos can be a lot better because the instructors on there tend to be a little bit more laid back. So I actually use at the moment a combination of Team Treehouse and YouTube videos and even blog posts. I think you need to supplement your learning with many different sources. And that brings me to my third tip, which is to know your learning style. I find it helps to not only learn from video tutorials, but also have books. The thing I love about books is it encourages you, this is a JavaScript book that I got, it encourages you to take your time. When I'm reading the book, I can reread what I read, I can easily jump and I can take it into the garden when I feel like I need to get away from the laptop. So it does come in handy. And the great thing about a book is I can take it everywhere with me when I'm really being disciplined and focused, I take this everywhere. I take it to the toilet, I take it on the train with me. That's the great thing about a book, but a lot of the times it helps to have the PDF version because you're gonna have challenges. Uh, they have like code challenges. You're gonna need to type that in to the laptop and it can be a bit of a hassle trying to keep the book open at the right place. It can get quite expensive though if you're buying the book and the PDF. So watch out for that. Tip number four is you gotta do it daily. This stop start business is no good. Doing it one day, two days, three days in a row, and then not doing it until next week. It's no good because when you come back to it, you waste a lot of time figuring, figuring out where you were up to. Something happens in the brain when you're learning a craft daily. You experience what's known as the compound effect. I'm telling you, magical things will happen when you do it daily. You begin to not be so much 
focused on the end result, which might be to get that dream job, you begin to love the aspect of learning itself. You enjoy that feeling of progress and feeling competent at what you're learning. You find a real depth and a sensitivity comes with learning daily. And that goes for learning anything in life. Tip number five is be patient. When I started out, I remember I'd been watching a lot of Mike Locke videos. He's a real talented UI developer and a UI UX developer. And I sat down with Photoshop open and I was so frustrated. I wanted to make these great websites, but I didn't know how, I didn't have the skills and it is frustrating and you feel like you're behind and everyone's ahead of me and slow down, take your time, just do what you got to do, which is to learn step by step. You can only take the next step that's in front of you. You take that step, then the next stepping stone, it will present itself. Trust me, it will be there. But you gotta take the step that is in front of you now. That's all you gotta do. Just trust the next step will present itself. So I hope you got that. <laughs> hope you got something from that. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Before you go, I just want to let you know about Team Treehouse. It's where I'm learning JavaScript right now. They'll take you from beginner level all the way to professional from HTML, CSS, and then on to JavaScript if you want, or Python, PHE, PHP. They've got pretty much everything here, man. Look at this, C Sharp, Android, iOS. Um, I actually built an iPhone app with the help of Team Treehouse. I'm currently doing their full stack JavaScript track. So uh, for $25 per month, you get all of those tracks on there. So uh, go have a look, see what you think. They've got tech degrees as well, which I think is a good alternative to a boot camp. If you don't want to spend a whole heap of money on a boot camp, have a look at the tech degree. There's a free trial, so you've nothing to lose by trying it out. I've left my affiliate link in the video description below. So please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. It helps to support what I'm doing here on YouTube. I'm documenting my learning journey over on my website. I'll leave that link in the video description as well. This goes all the way back to 2015. There are gaps where I was just so busy I wasn't coming back to doc document it, but I, I will be from now on. I've made a promise to myself. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and thanks for supporting what I do. Catch you on the next one. Peace.